Aside from being true wireless earbuds, like listening to audio, take advantage of spatial audio, the AirPods 3 could do a lot more. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you 20 additional things that, that you could do with a pair of AirPods 3. Let's get started. So when wearing these AirPods, you can actually allow it so that Siri could actually announce all your notifications, including messages and phone calls. And when, if it's, when it's a text message via iMessage or something, you can always reply without having to say the phrase, hey, s'mores you know who i'm talking about if you like to enable this feature and find tweak it to your personal preference you can find this in the settings scroll down to where it says siri and search and right here is where you can find the announce call so there's a couple options here you can allow it to always do it do it with your car and headphones i like to leave it headphones only or you could set it never if you want this way whenever you receive an incoming call you don't just simply just hear a ringtone so you will actually tell you who is calling you via the contact number or if there are contact the contact name on your contacts and if we go back announce messages this is where you can actually fine tweak some of these things so by enabling announce messages Sear will automatically read all these notifications these applications push to you so if there's an app all of them are off on my side but if there's an app that i strongly want to always be aware of what's going on i could literally click on it and enable it so siri will actually notify read me that notification from that app but by default the message should be enabled like right here it's enabled so siri will always read out loud the message if it's a short message verbally and i'm always able to reply without having to say the hey this sentence right here so I clearly, after a series done reading it, I can reply with my voice if I want to. Now moving along, MagSafe support is supported on the AirPods 3, which means you could dock the device just like this to charge. And in addition to that, you can also tap the LED indicator like so, and it'll actually show you the LED stats. If it's amber, it's less than half full. If it's green, it's full. Now fast charging is a thing on the AirPods. A five minute charge should allow the earbuds to last an additional hour of audio playback time. And the total case in total with all the AirPods can last you up to 30 hours. Now these are the longest lasting earbuds right now available from Apple, which means an individual earbud without spatial audio is able to play audio for six hours. With spatial audio enabled, it's estimated to be able to last up to five hours. Now for number three, AirPods 3 do support audio sharing. In other words, if you wanna listen to the same audio, have two AirPods paired to one device at the same time, simply just bring up the device close to it, hold the pair button if you need to, and then hit the little AirPlay icon, this thing, or you can find this in the control center as well. Long press, You'll see the share audio feature, follow the on-screen instructions, and now you have two different AirPods connected to your device. So if you're watching something with a friend, they have their own set of AirPods. You can listen to the same audio source at the same time. And you can also adjust the volume this way as well. And if you long press on the control center, you can also toggle the many different modes that each AirPod may have. Another amazing thing that the AirPods have is that these have actually precision tracking. In other words, if you lose an earbud or the whole case together, if you launch the Find My app and select it, there's now a Find Nearby option. It's very similar to AirTag. This little thing will pop up on your screen and you can simply follow the arrow. Well, not arrow, but the circle will get larger and smaller depending how close you are to the, uh, the missing item. And you can actually play sound this way as well. You can control either left or right side and then down here, you can also find additional settings where you can actually allow the Find My app to always notify you in case you forget your AirPods behind. So if you're at a new location and you walk by and your iPhone detects that you are not traveling with the AirPods, it will notify you so you can go back before it's late and you don't forget your AirPods at a gym or something. Now when charging the AirPods, there is an optimized charging setting. Normally by default, this is enabled, but if you buy it used, maybe it's disabled for whatever said reason. To make sure this is this feature is enabled, simply go into Bluetooth, tap on the little eye icon, scroll down here where you can find the optimized battery charge. And also this is where you can actually, I recommend leaving you having this enabled, is to find my network. This will allow you to actually trace and track the AirPods to the exact location like I previously showed you. 
but make sure these two are enabled. I highly recommend this. And since we're here, if you like to, you can have one side AirPod to be a dedicated microphone. So you, if you like to always make your right AirPod to always be the dedicated microphone, this is where you can actually manually go in and enable it. So now that's the microphone all the time. I like to leave it automatically switching. So whatever AirPod is placed on first, by default, that's gonna be the, uh, the microphone location. But again, you could adjust this to your personal preference. And then right above here, this is where you can also find the way to rename your AirPods. So if you own a lot of AirPods, you just wanna give this device a different unique name. This is where you can actually go in, edit that, and now it's set. And of course, here's the auto ear detection. Personal preference, you don't have to. And then the connect to this iPhone automatically. If you don't like the uh, quick switch, between Apple products, uh, you can always just leave it on when last connected to this device, so it doesn't do that. And when this is enabled, if you bring out Control Center, you have to manually go into the AirDrop and select your AirPods this way to override. Now, if you like to listen to white noise when you're studying, have downtime, or a quick aid to help you go to sleep, these actually do have a built-in white noise feature now. You can go ahead and locate this by first going into your settings, going to Control Center, and make sure you have the hearing aid icon enabled in your control center. Now by bringing down your control center, go on the ear icon right here, toggle this on, you'll see a background sound. Here you have a bunch of different background sounds to choose from, ocean, rain, st steam, stream, I'm sorry. And then, uh, yeah, shows you the decibel levels here as well. And you can adjust the ocean volume. So if it's too high or low, you can change it all right here. And you can also disable it just like so. Then, like some previous AirPods, you can use these as hearing aids if you like to. By going back in the ear icon right here, you'll see a live listen option. When this is enabled, it will utilize the microphone on your iPhone and amplify the sound so you can hear your surrounding louder. Now a clever way to use this to whatever advantage you want to do, you could actually leave your phone at a certain different room or something and you could technically eavesdrop this way. Not recommending this, but it's a tool, it's there, you could get creative. But if somebody's doing this to you and you manage to find their device, you can always just pick up the phone on the lock screen. You'll notice this orange icon. So that obviously gives it away that the microphone is active and you could tap on it like so and disable it like this. Now in terms of monitoring your battery life percentage, you can always just verbally request Siri to tell you the battery life stats of your AirPods or you can bring on the control center, go back into that ear icon and tell you the percentage right here. Or, or you can always actually set a widget on your homepage like I have right here where will show you my battery life percentage. You can also find this in the widget uh, section right here as well. And you could tap edit if you like to go ahead and add it and tap plus and you have these different styles to choose from. In addition to that, of course, obviously you could just open up the AirPod case and it will just pop up right here. Now, as soon as one AirPod is paired to your Apple device, it's already automatically paired across your, all your other Apple devices as long as they're connected to the same Apple account. A way to really utilize this is with your Apple TV. By with using your Apple TV, whatever audio source you're listening to while watching on the TV, you can actually direct the audio to the AirPods just by simply doing this. Pop up this little menu, select the AirPods like so, and there you go. Now you can listen to whatever you're watching without disturbing other around. You can also do this on a computer as well, obviously. Now, if let's say for example, the audio quality still isn't on par to your liking, you could change it from your genre of songs you listen to by changing the EQ. To do this, simply go on your iPhone, go into settings, go into music, and right here is where you can actually select the many different EQs. You can actually play the audio while you're adjusting this, so you can actually listen to it right there and find it to your own personal liking. Now, if that's still not enough, there's a way you can actually fine tweak it to your ear canals. To actually do this, you need to go into your settings, go into accessibility, then on audio slash visual, go in headphones accommodation, enable this, customize audio setup. Here it's gonna walk you through process, just follow the on-screen instructions. It's gonna try to use its software to identify your low and high pitches based off your ear canals, your eardrums, and it will fine tweak it so you can actually hear everything perfectly. Once you're done, you'll actually get access to a bunch of cool little additional settings to go adjust and play with. 
like the tune audio for balance, vocal, brightness. Uh, you can switch to moderate, strong, play sample, and you can also enable it so it's on phone calls as well and media. So additional settings you unlock by doing this setup process. Now, if your ears are perfectly fine, you may not have these uh, settings right here. So play with it and see what are your results. Now, another amazing thing about the AirPods 3, these are the first AirPods to actually have an IPX4 water industry resistant rating, which means it's perfectly fine to sweat with these, expose them to some rain, some water. And this isn't just the AirPods, the case itself also has the same IPX4 water industry resistant rating. So yeah, have fun. And then this being AirPods, you could also pair these to other Bluetooth uh, supported devices like the Nintendo Switch is a fine example. They recently released an update where you can actually pair any AirPods without having a third party accessory attached to it. And you can listen to audio with the AirPods this way as well. And then if you're on Android, you can also pair it to an Android device. And there's supported applications that will give you AirPods like features on an Android device like this. I'll link, link to some of these supported apps in the video description down below. They are a one-time paid, some of them, but nonetheless, they're only like one-time purchase and they give you AirPod features on your Android device. So if you bo use both OS's, uh, I'll have these apps in the description so you can actually take advantage of on the AirPods on both devices. And then lastly, if you have an Apple Watch, you can actually store some of your music playlists onto the device by launching the Apple Watch app, select the music app, and then here you can select the playlist you'd like to install internally on your Apple Watch so it doesn't have to rely on your iPhone, so Bluetooth streaming and such. And then now take out your AirPods, go into Control Center, tap this little AirPlay icon, select the AirPods, and now you are connected. And in addition to that, Siri can also announce messages to the AirPods by having this little ear red bell icon enabled. When it's red, it means it's enabled. And when it's like this, it means it's off. And there you go. That is 20 amazing things you can do with a pair of AirPods 3. Not bad, right? They offer a lot more than what other competitors on the market earbuds would typically not offer. So it's like fine wine, these get better over time with more future for more updates on our devices. So if you got some good useful information out of this video, greatly appreciate it if you can actually leave this video a like as it does help me out a lot and get subscribed, and especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to see more, maybe you do have an Apple Watch, check out this video over here as I go through a hundred plus hidden features and some cool tips and tricks that you could do with that device. And then that video next to that one, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Check it out. Let me know in the comment section if YouTube was right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.